Why does China excel at building railroads? That may be as a result of their vast expertise building thousands of kilometers of railway lines, right? China's railway network was just 117 kilometers long in 2008. Yes, you heard correctly. In China, there was only one railway line. But now, China has created an incredible high-speed rail network that has even compelled the United States to research Chinese railway construction methods. But how quickly can a nation develop? In just 12 years, China has built an astounding 36,000 kilometers of high-speed rail lines. How can China defy reality and shorten the period that, in the case of the United States, may last for decades? We will explore the incredible tale of how China built 36,000 kilometers of railways in just 12 years in this video. Let's get going. In contrast to what we have been witnessing in other countries, when a new president shuts down the previous president's welfare program, when we talk about Chinese railways, we see coherence, unity, and the coordinated deployment of resources to accomplish a plan. China is unique. You'll be surprised to learn that China had no idea what high-speed rail was at the beginning of 24. But by the end, a whole plan was ready, as was the agenda. The arrival of the rail revolution altered everything. As part of its five-year economic plans, China began to develop medium and long-term rail plans. It's intriguing to learn that China creates a five-year growth plan, unlike the majority of nations, other than the budget. In this plan, China specifies its goals for the following five years while taking practical considerations into account. As a result, China began to implement medium and long-term railway plans in 2004, which were centered on studying and progressively constructing railway lines. It was determined that China will construct 150,000 kilometers of railroads by 2020. When China successfully built the foundation for railways both inside of China and in other allies as well, more shocks were still to come. It had the purest experience possible. By concurrently reducing expenses, China was able to shorten the amount of time needed to become an expert in railroad construction. It's a simple but brilliant idea that when a country works on a project more frequently, the more experience it gains and the more it can reduce construction costs. In dozens of nations in Asia, Africa, and even Latin America, China was constructing railways. Therefore, it was agreed that the 2025 new transport plane should test China's construction capabilities. The State Council announced that China will increase its railway network to 175,000 kilometers by 2025. We are certain that China can actually achieve its objective if we look at how it expanded its high-speed rail system. What is that dream, though? China does, indeed, have a vast network of railroads. Not all of them, though, are utilized for high-speed rail. China plans to replace its entire rail system with high-speed rail, which might reduce the distance between major cities. It's fascinating to learn that in 2008, traveling between cities in China took tens of hours. However, the travel time between cities has decreased to only a few hours because to the thousands of kilometers of high-speed rail that have been installed. It's possible that certain trips between cities might only take three to four hours. However, you shouldn't disregard the fact that China is practically as big as Europe. Cities in China serve as a proxy for nations in Europe. Comparing that, it becomes clear that even with aircraft, individuals in Europe would require tens of hours or even days to travel across nations. They are unable to move more quickly than Chinese individuals, who may travel lengths equivalent to the distance between two European nations in about four to five hours. Because of this, Europe is thinking of implementing a vast high-speed rail system similar to China's. Since high-speed rail is expensive, China may be contacted by Europe for aid. Would China be interested in constructing high-speed rail lines in Europe? Submit your response in the box below the comment area. However, it seems that Europe lacks what China possesses. There are many components to China. It meets the criteria set by other nations to be the industry leader in railway construction. China is independent in one way. China's total independence is what allowed them to build such a vast network of high-speed rail. China is capable of producing raw materials and managing the supply chain in addition to developing railroads and trains. In addition, 
China's state-owned businesses dominate the railway construction sector. In other words, they make money when building trains, which is then reinvested in new railway projects. In contrast to other nations that would employ the private sector and thereby give taxpayer money to private individuals, China is able to demonstrate work coherence thanks to state-owned companies. These include the railway construction company, building company, steel company, and even energy source. The strategy employed by the Chinese government is different. The expenditure on projects generates profits, which are then used to fund the construction of further projects, which in turn generate even more profits. As a result, the Chinese government has tripled the amount of money it had in 2008 over the past 15 years. The Chinese government can effectively utilize such money since those initiatives not only make back their expenditures but also turn a profit. Can we find a similar cooperative reaction elsewhere else? The short answer is no, of course. 3. Transfer of technology as opposed to imports. What if China lacks the technology necessary to complete a certain project? How will it act? Well, China wants to invest money in its own research as opposed to other nations that are prepared to spend it on imported personnel and technology. Don't offer me fish, says an old adage in Chinese. Teach me to fish, please. China still employs this tactic, but this time around, instead of purchasing the technology, it learns how to use it for other endeavors. If it purchases such technology every time, money may be saved. If not, it will be useless. As a result, China either develops research institutions that focus on producing outcomes or sends its students abroad to learn. China desires to be independent, yet it is a wealthy nation that has the ability to employ engineers from other nations. We are aware that China has a population of more than 1.4 or 5 billion people. This makes China's workforce strong and readily available for every project type. China supports its own workforce, in contrast to other affluent nations that favor recruiting foreign labor. Because there are many people there, why not hire them and generate millions of jobs, China reasons. Additionally, because of the cheap cost of labor, high-speed rail projects are also cost-effective. Five quick policies with unlimited funds. The enormous treasure chest filled with trillions of dollars and the swift policymaking process are maybe China's greatest advantages. We don't give this much thought. It is, however, the only distinction between China and the United States. Even though the U.S. has the greatest economy in the world and more money available for development, it still lags behind. In the United States, hardly nobody is interested in this. To just develop a bill, the president or any legislator must invest months or perhaps years. Obtaining approval and putting it into action take months after that. Finally, but in China, the case is moving quickly. On the same day, a strategy for Wolf of Development is proposed, approved, and put into action. There are no scheduled all-day meetings that last for months. Anything that has to be done for the benefit of the wider population must be done. China is superior because of its leadership's well-thought-out reaction. Will we even see trains and railroads manufactured in China in the United States? What if we discovered that the U.S. was covertly considering contacting China to request assistance in building railroads here? Share your opinion in comments. Also, Click on this video to watch about another shocking project.